Hey girls, so Sen and welcome to a third project of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this custom scroll bar by just using HTML and CSS. So no JavaScript, no nothing. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. In this video, we are going to be creating our third project in this course. So I'll just give a name of like O3 of um, custom scroll bar. Okay, and inside this folder, I'll create two files, given name of index.html and another one will be style.css okay and now here i'll just write a doc type html and then i'll go there and then i'll just write custom scroll bar and then i'll link it with my css file and now we are good to go and then i'll right click on it and then i'll launch it with the live server and i'll close this metas and now we are good to go so for html i'll write a simple image so we have like a section inside this section we have or inside this section we have our card and then inside this card uh, we have this h2 with a class of card title and then we have like plus paragraph and we want them to be eight times okay so remove that and you want them to be eight times or ten times how many you like and i'll just write like title one and then as a paragraph i'll write a lorem let me just click somewhere else and then here i'll just write like lorem and it will agree with us all of that and you know what i'll just copy all of them and then i'll pass it right here control i'm gonna hit control d to duplicate another control d control d control d control or command d and then i'll pass all of them right here okay and once you save file so here you can see we have this title one title one and all of them right now so now i want to change this second one to two then we have uh title three then we have four uh five maybe i'll just fast forward six seven and finally we have an add one and once we sell five so one two three four five six seven and add okay so now let's begin with the styling so first of all we have our resets so i'll just provide a padding of zero and then margin will be also zero and box sizing will be border box font family will be sans serif and then i'll just select the body and background will be crimson and once we sell file so here you can see it looking ugly now we have to select this card and we have to style this card manually so i'll just select this card and not carried but card and inside this card i want to give a width of like uh, 700 pixel and background will be totally ccc and padding will be 20 pixel and margin from all of them will be also 20 pixel font family will be sans serif and line height I'll just provide like 28 pixel and once we save our file so here you can see here are our cards right now okay so we have this scroll bar right here the main focus of this project will be on this scroll bar right here but we are just writing some text so we have something so that we can scroll through okay so we are now getting into like title air maybe i'll just write a few more of them i'll just duplicate this one a few more times and we shouldn't have to change them or yeah I'll, I'll not, i'm not changing there but now here you can see we have a lot of area to scroll through so now we can focus on this scroll bar right here here you can see that i'm talking about this scroll bar right now okay so how to work with that scroll bar so for that we have to go to css and now let's work with the scroll bar okay so first of all we have to just try like uh colon colon and then we have to write a web kit and then dash scroll bar okay and so it will allows us to work with that scroll bar like let's suppose if i want to change the background color to something else like a background color to like teal maybe and once you save file so here you can see that background color is now changed to teal like all of the scroll bar color is changed to now teal and now if you want to change that to like transparent so i'll just write transparent and i'll just give them a width of seven pixel and once we save our file so here you can see the scroll bar is totally gone because we just write the background to transparent uh, so now let's select that scroll bar thumb so for that we have to just write like um uh let me just write it like uh webcad um webcad then i'll just write a scroll bar and then here i'll just write a thumb 
Okay, so it will allow us to access their thumb. So I'll just write like a background color of, uh, I don't know, black will be fine. And once we save our file, so here you can see it will now gives us this black scroll bar. And if I want to change it to something else like totally white, save our file. So here you can see we have this white scroll bar right here. So now let's suppose if I want to change the width of their scroll bar. So for that we have to just write like, I don't know, 20. So once we save our file, so here you can see we have this massive uh, scroll bar right here. Okay. And so I'll just write a seven and seven would do thing. So now we want it to be like rounded. So for that, we can just provide like a border radius of 100 pixels. And once we set our file, so here you can see now this is totally rounded. So let me change the width of it to 10. So here you can see this is now totally rounded right here. So now let's suppose if we want to provide a linear gradient to it, so we can also provide a gradient to it. So for gradient, we have this awesome side. Let me just uh, make this screen size a bit bigger and I'll just write like uh, gradient uh, dot com okay gradient.com not gradient and once we hit enter so it will and brings us to this side right here so here we can find a lots of uh, cool gradients right here so I'll just click on this one and let me choose a perfect gradient for myself uh, let me see I want to select the second one and I'll go with that one. So I'll just copy this one and instead of background, I'll just write background one more time and then I'll write a linear gradient and then I'll pass this one and then I'm going to hit comma and then copy this color and I want to pass it one more time right here. And once we save our file and go to our scroll bar, so here you can see we have our scroll bar right here. Okay, so this is how you can work with the scroll bars in HTML and CSS. So if you want to change the width of it, if you want to change the color, if you want to change the style of it to something else, like maybe, I don't know, if I want to provide border of um, two pixels, so, uh, not solid, but dash white. And once you sell file, so here you can see, we can also provide a border to it right here. Okay, but it's looking a bit ugly, so I'll just remove it from here. Okay, so this is how we can work with a gradient. I mean, like this is how we can work with a scroll bar by using just HTML and CSS. Okay, so now if you guys don't know about Git and GitHub, so feel free to skip this video. And if you guys do know about Git and GitHub, and if you want to push this project to your GitHub repository, then watch this video, okay? And the rest of them can hang out. All right, so then I'll just remove both of them. So we have this third file and now let's push that to our GitHub repository right here. So we have number one project and number two. So now let me just launch my git bash really quickly and I'm going to remove that other one. And then here I'll just write like git status. What else do we have? We have this third project. So now let's write like git add and then hit dot. It will add everything. Then I want to hit git commit dash m um, custom scroll bar uh, project added will be fine and if I hit enter so it will now add it and then I'm going to finally hit like get push origin man and if I hit enter right now so pa pow it will now push it to our github repository so now let's refresh our github repository and here we go so we have this custom scroll bar right here and we have index.html which is right here and we also have this style.css file which is right here okay so I guess that was it about today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.